And the Lord God commanded the man, saying, Of every tree of the garden thou mayest freely eat, but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil thou shalt not eat of it. For in the day that thou eatest thereof, thou shalt surely die. Genesis 2, 16 and 17. God created Adam with a free will capable of making his own decisions. Adam could eat anything in the garden except the fruit from the tree of knowledge of good and evil. For on that day, God said, he would surely die. Adam was innocent, but not righteous. Created by God as innocent, Adam was neither good nor bad, just innocent. His innocence must be tested to know his character. Would Adam be a righteous man obeying God's command? Or would Adam become a sinner in disobedience to God's command? Well, we know the answers to those questions as Adam disobeyed God by eating from the tree of knowledge, immediately losing his innocence. Adam fell from grace and acquired a sinful human nature that he passed to all humanity. And Adam lived a hundred and thirty years and begot a son in his own likeness after his image and called his name Seth. Genesis 5, verse 3. Abel was dead, having been killed by Cain, and Cain was banished from the land. Seth was then born to Adam and Eve. Through Seth, the godly line would emerge. But Seth was born in the image and likeness of Adam, not God. Adam's image and likeness were tainted with sin and a corrupt human nature. That sinful human nature has passed to every living soul. But there were always a few that had faith in God and showed their faith through obedience. Here are some that obeyed God from Adam to Moses. Number one, Abel, the first person to obey God by offering the proper blood sacrifice. Number two, Enoch, Enoch walked with God. Number three, Noah, he obeyed God by building an ark. Number four, Abraham, he left his country as God called him. Number five, Isaac, he obeyed his parents. Number six, Jacob, believed God's promises. Number seven, Joseph, continually believed God regardless of his circumstances. Number eight, Moses freed Israel from bondage in Egypt. With Moses, a new paradigm of obedience was added, the law, the commandments of God. 